Okay, this is part 284C3M, 1B7C8E, 12C14. Just so you know, this one's off a little bit from what I was working on before. Um, line 22F1FA, 19C3M, 1B7C8E, 12C14, Nibiru, Dark Shift, Ancient Basque, Zakaria, Stitchin, 5G Well City. Here's the alien radio signal. Um, I was working on the keywords for the UFO design structure compares to Nibiru, an ancient alien astronaut, 60QUJ5 signal, and Zakara Stitch and Anukai aliens that visit Earth. That's how you spell them. Somehow I was working on the Wild Dead and this came up. Okay, so December 19th, my thoughts. Today's December the 31st. The Basque language was found in my alien message that I wrote and blogged based on what Errol said to me during one of my dark roof meditations while I connected to Earth and Heaven. You can see that video on uh, the Idea of Ghosts YouTube channel. I show you how to connect to the Earth and to the... Um, it's a meditation video with Om. So this keyword search also brought up a, an author called Zacharia Stitchin on December 19, 2012 at 4.08 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. He happens to write books about ancient aliens coming to Earth, which I thought was extremely interesting that, you know, that was weird <laughs> that it happened. My alien messages and videos are from ancient alien astronauts, too. Starting December 2011, currently still filming Line 22's data 2012. So what I'm talking about is the original message that was given to me was from he identified himself as an ancient alien astronaut from 3,000 years ago. Um, he's Mayan, and he's from the Kepler region of ha habit habitable planets, and that's where the message originally came. He gave the coordinates where his planet is located and told us to come visit them. Um, if we build this spaceship, we'll be able to go into that region and actually see those habitable planets, kind of like we explore the moon and Mars. Uh, well, actually, we could probably explore the moon and Mars a little better, too, with this spaceship, right? <laughs> cool, eh? Very strange, don't you think? I wrote this very ancient Basque language alien message on my blog for aliens and Earth ISBs to do the dark rift meditation with me for December 21st, 2012. To protect the Earth's magnetic field from a severe solar storm that will be coming our way from December 21st, 2012 to January 2nd, 2013. The blog post post alien message reads 60QUJ5 Asununa Okato Dumini Sidui Ona Dupta Gamuta Omega Blue Energy Sulax Nito Exacta Earth Arrow. Posted here um, on my blog. I'll show you real quickly. This is where I keep my novels and stuff that I write. I write all sorts of different novels, but this is where I put the message. And this was the a video I was meditating to, and these are the pictures that came up with it. So what I did was like a picture um, message. This is what we've been doing with the aliens. I've sent the suggestion to SETI that they like pictures. Because they talk to us in pictures with the crop circles, so we have to learn to talk back with pictures as well. Um, here's the Basque language. It talks about the sign language that they use. Um, and it talks about Bay of Biscay. Pyrenees, Orientals, France to Bay of Biscay. ISB the Arrow. So this is the original area where the Basque language came from, from the early settlement um, of our astronauts. That's where they used to live. Supposedly, you will find some ruins there or something that will coincide with this. Okay, so I talk about the ancient tribe that used to live there. Um, I show it's before 300 BC. So that's when they were living there. So um, maybe these aliens are older than I think they are. Some of them were 10,000 years old. Some were 3,000 years old. Um, the reason I found out how old they were was based through the keywords uh, research that I've been doing, they basically brought up the information and I was just fascinated with it. So after doing the message, I was working on the WOW keywords and came across a spaceship design that looks exactly like the one we're trying to make, which I thought was really cool. Check this out. This is supposed to be Nibiru, which is, um, this guy, did, um, 
drew Nibiru, which is supposedly a spaceship to him. Other people think it's a planet. So other people think it's an asteroid. This guy says it's a, a spaceship, planet-sized spaceship with aliens living in it. Okay, so we have the antenna here, the solar panels, a crystals, and our design has crystals and x-rays in it. Third stone, emerald stone, so I haven't covered the gems yet. I haven't come up with gems yet, but I did come up with magnetic force. There's ruby stones, magnetic force, crystal, solar panels, and a hologram beam, which we're talking about a laser beam, so that, that was cool. This is a magnetic conductor. So it's really strange that it's got a lot of the things we're talking about. And my battery's running out of power. Some call this planet Nibiru, which means fairy and or crossing, or place of crossing, ferryman, ford, Mikis, Nibiru, Nibiru, Ibiru, Marduk, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so my thoughts. Uh, amazing. I find this diagram while looking up the language of an alien message given to me during a crystal meditation to the dark rift. Um, so see how it looks like the core of the spaceship? Uh, Drew in the Wilds Line 1 data video. I've never seen this picture before and it shows crystals with magnetic force, hologram beams, solar panels, obsidian glass mirrors, and various gems, ruby, diamond, emerald stones. Actually, diamonds did come up. Interesting, it's using the formula and sketch ideas found in the WOW Alien Radio Center. This is the second part of the video because I ran out of battery power. So this is part 284C3M1B7C8E12C14. Um, I'm just filming the second half and I'll edit this video and stick them together. So line 22 F1 FA 19 C3 M 1 B 7 C 8 E 12 C 14 Nibiru Dark Shift Ancient Basque Zakaria Stitch in 5G Wow Steady. There's the alien radio signal and we're continuing the keyword um, to UFO design structure comparisons to Nibiru an ancient alien astronaut the 60 Q U J 5 signal and Zakaria Stitch in Anukai, which are aliens that visited Earth uh, thousands of years ago, and their information came up while I was working on it. Uh, we're talking about the Basque language that was found in an alien message that I wrote um, in regards to my dark riff meditation. And let's just scoot down here. We were talking about the design of the spaceship I found that looks kind of like the design we're making in WoW. So some call this planet Nibiru, which means fairy and or crossing or place of crossing. Ferryman, Ford, Mikis, Nibiru, Nebiru, Ibiru, Marduk, the Ottawa object, Vulcan, Transpluto, or just plain planet X. The Bible speaks of a period of three days when it will be dark. Okay. So then I talk about the diagram, the crystal meditation, and this is where I kind of lost my power. So we're going to continue here. Um, so we're these. This is the same as the WOW well, um, line one. If you go back to line one of the data videos, there's sketches on how to of uh, what the UFO is supposed to look like. Spaceship. It's a UFO spaceship. I call it. So the quote diagrams from the blog: The Earth will stop turning for three days, and even worse, when our planet moves between it and the sun. They're talking about Nibiru. This is when a majority of the global catastrophes occur. NASA, the DOD, National Military Intelligence Study, and the CIA all believe two-thirds of the population of our planet could be possibly perish. Mystery of the Iniquity is where I found that. Depictions of Nibiru as a radiant planet. So people see it as a planet. What do the Zetas and Zachary Stitchin have in common? Both involve the crossover called Nibiru. Okay, December 19th, my thoughts. Today's December 31st. The diagram on the right, I saw this diagram here in a vision while meditating December 17th. I've never seen this picture before, so it was weird that it came up and I'd seen something like this in my vision. While meditating December 17th, 2012, and December 18th, doing the dark rift meditation on a large rock, I made a video about it. It's on the Idea or Ghost Says YouTube channel, so you just do dark rift meditation, you'll find it. Oh, here it is, sorry. <laughs> it's called the Dark Rift Nibiru. Blue Energy Meditation Connect to Earth, um, the audio goes says. And it's on the the YouTube channel. Yeah. I'll show you it real. It's to generate blue energy to connect the Earth and to space. So there's an idea right there. And it's got the um music playing in the background so you can meditate with it. So it means Nibiru. Interesting. Source of data and pics is Kachina2012WordPress.com. 
But Z Citrin was wrong about Nibiru being a rogue planet. Katina talks about it on her blog. And so I looked up Zechariah Stitchin to see what it was. I actually thought, I didn't know what I thought. I didn't, I thought it was some sort of word. I didn't realize it was a person. So this is his name in Russian and Azerbaijani. Um, he's quoting picture from Wiki. Zachariah Stitchin, he's Russian. Um, I guess he died in 2010. He was born in 1920 was an Azerbaijani-born American author of books proposing an explanation for human origins involving ancient astronauts. Stitchin attributes the creation of the ancient Sumerian culture to the Anuke, which he states was a race of extraterrestrials from a planet beyond Neptune called Nibiru. He believes this hypothetical planet of Nibiru to be in an elongated elliptical orbit. Isn't that weird? We're talking about elongated and elliptical orbits in the Earth's own solar system, asserting that Sumerian mythology reflects this view. Stitchin's books have sold millions of copies worldwide and have been translated in more than 25 languages. Stitchin's ideas were rejected by scientists and academics who dismissed his work as pseudoscience and pseudo-history. Stitchin's work has been criticized for flawed mythology and mistranslations of ancient texts as well as for incorrect astronomical and scientific claims. Wouldn't it be weird that we actually we if we found out that what he wrote about was true? Wouldn't that be a real shocker? December 26, my thoughts. I just found out today when I'm looking up the keyword stitch and to find out what it meant, I'm shocked. Nibiru is supposedly an, an, an alien astronaut planet. I've been writing about Kepler 22b being an ancient Mayan astronaut planet in my well alien radio signal data research. I wonder if Nibiru, and the reason that I say that is because the calculations, the coordinate, they give me the coordinates to their planet, and it comes up in that area. So I thought that was cool. And then the, the same time I found it, Kepler found habitable planets. The Kepler satellite found the, the planets as well, and it was just freaky how it all worked. I actually did videos about it if you want to see them. Um, yeah, so I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I'll have to cross-reference that if you want. Just leave me a comment and I'll try to find it. It's like there's over 300 videos now. I wonder if Nibiru is a spaceship that is somehow related to the Mayan alien astronauts that left Earth over 10,000 years ago and again more joined than 3,000 years ago during an ELE event on Earth. According to what the codices say in the WOW Alien Radio Signals research. Okay? And um, these codices are from ancient um, Mexico and Greece. Act, they actually exist. Okay, thanks for watching.